Welcome to an episode of Potion Sword Run. I am Original Seed, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the PlayStation and its disconnect with indie developers. I'm going to be going over two examples and how it may lead to an exodus from the PlayStation. And as a result, the fans are going to suffer. First, indie game developer Luca Pope announced on Twitter that his game was going to be on sale across all systems except the PlayStation. When he was asked by a fan why, he replied by saying that PlayStation didn't allow the sale. And I quote, Sale on Japanese PlayStation Store? Sony denied my request to discount the game on PlayStation 4. Now why would Sony do that? Supposedly it had to do with something with their store and they're not able to do it on a specific title at a given time? I really don't know, it sounds like a lot of bullshit to me. Do PlayStation owners not deserve a sale? Obviously they do, because right now they're the odd man left out. And I fear that relationships like this will cause indie game developers to double think about wasting their resources on a store that doesn't promote their games. Which leads me to indie developer Mike Rose, the creator of Descenders. And how he recently showed how his game was difficult to find on the PlayStation Network. And given that it was a brand new game, it should have been all over the place, even though it's just a small indie title. In his video, he shows his frustration going through the store, going through the feature games, and it's nowhere to be found. You couldn't find it by exploring, you couldn't even find it by typing it in in the search bar. When you try to type in the game Descenders, it was the last one on the list, and there's other games above it that didn't have a D in it. And it isn't like we're talking about an old game. This video was taken when the standards first launched and it turned out that it pretty much had no sales on the PlayStation. It had 5% of the sales that it reached on the Nintendo Switch and we all know how the Nintendo Switch store is very complicated and overcrowded and very difficult to actually find games because of the shovelware. Now when you compare the standards on Xbox, it's pretty much night and day. Xbox pretty much made the standards. And a lot of it had to do with Game Pass, believe it or not. Now, the Sanders was launched on Xbox for about a week before it was put on Game Pass. And the sales were okay, but once it got onto Game Pass, the sales multiplied times five. And it went beyond just the Game Pass subscribers. Actual sales of the game increased because it was on Game Pass. And it's probably due to exposure because it's easy to find. You can either find it on the game store because indie games are put alongside with big AAA games as they come out in the same spot, not in special spots, in the same spot. Not only that, they also promote it on Game Pass if you put your game on there. So pretty much putting their game on Game Pass was a win-win. A win for Xbox, obviously. But not only did the game developers get the first initial sum of cash to put their game on Game Pass, but they also received sales because of it that they probably wouldn't have got to begin with due to high visibility. And like I said, not being able to sell your game on the PlayStation Store is going to lead game developers to not even consider that store to begin with. And I quote, Honestly, it's just super draining seeing this, especially not appearing at the top of the search for our own damn game. For how grueling the PlayStation submission process is, to then literally be buried by movies and DLC in the search makes me feel genuinely ill. Ironically, this tweet is now doing a better job of letting PlayStation users know that the Sanders is out on the PlayStation Store. Maybe I should be giving 30% to this tweet instead. And there you have it. Game developers frustrated with the way that the PlayStation Store curates their games. And it looks like as a result, they suffer in sales and all that hard work put in for practically nothing. When you compare with other systems, you obviously have a better chance of selling your games there, so you're gonna probably develop for those systems first. Now, the good thing is, Sony has revamped their store and actually integrated it with the whole PlayStation ecosystem, so it should be working a lot better. Hopefully, they're able to put games on sales at the developer's request, but I'm not sure if they're just ignoring these requests now because these are indie game developers that don't really have that much power. However, if they feel like they're being better treated at the Xbox or Switch store, then obviously they're going to focus there and the PlayStation users are going to suffer in the end. 
Now that's gonna do it for this episode. Remember, when shit's the fan and you're trying to sell your game on the PlayStation Store but it won't recognize your name, run.